What is going on everyone, it's Sinister Cobra and welcome back to another Halo video. Today we got quite a few topics to cover. We got some more Halo Infinite action figure news, some promotions. We got a live stream happening this weekend involving Halo Infinite. And finally, a bunch of MCC stuff. I just want to give a quick reminder before we jump into these topics that everything that I talk about today in this video will all be in the description below. As well as timestamps for the video will be in the description. Or if you prefer, the video slider should include the timestamps as well. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right in. So in Halo Infinite news, we got a new look at the 6.5 inch scale figures. These are in addition to the 3 and 3 quarter inch figures that I talked about last week. There's not much to go over here. In this set, we have the Master Chief, Red, Spartan Mark 7, Cat B320 from Halo Reach, and finally we have a Spartan Mark 5. They all come with interchangeable hands, Cat comes with an extra head, and once again these all also come with a game add-on. I think the most interesting thing from this set of figures though is that the Spartan Mark 7 comes with a new weapon that we have yet to see before. Unfortunately, with these figures, the weapons aren't all that detailed. They are missing tons of paint applications. This new weapon looks like it's still in the prototype phase of the manufacturing, which is kind of strange, but maybe that's the case because 343 hasn't finalized the colorway of the weapon. But other than that, there's not much known about this weapon. It could be anything, honestly. It could be UNSC. It could be Forerunner. I doubt it's Covenant. It looks more Forerunner to me. But there's really not much to go on. I am on the lookout for these figures, especially because they are in scale with a lot of things that I collect. So I will give a closer look once I get my hands on them. Next, we have a first look at a new design for a Brute. One thing to note about this Brute, however, is that his armor design looks kind of similar to this Mega Bloks Elite figure. The Elite Warlord was revealed earlier this week as well, and these two figures appear to be sharing the same kind of armor. I think the helmets especially look really similar. They both have like a little horn, as we saw in Halo 2 Brutes often took armor from elites and turned it into their own so maybe that is going to be a situation we see in halo infinite again i would take all of this figure info with a grain of salt as sometimes toy manufacturers do take some liberties sometimes they make a figure that doesn't even appear in any type of media and it just ends up being a figure exclusive design so again Take all of this figure info with a grain of salt. But anyways, moving on with some more figure reveals, we got a first look at a mongoose for the World of Halo 3 and 3 quarter inch scale figures. This mongoose comes with a Master Chief as well as a rocket launcher accessory. Not sure if there's anything different about this Master Chief figure. It doesn't appear to be different in any way than the standalone figure. Now along with the mongoose, last week we saw a first look at a warthog for the 3 and 3 quarter inch scaled figures. And it seems like the warthog is also being found in stores. So if you're hunting down these figures and you need the warthog, keep your eyes open for that. And finally, rounding out the figure news, a 2 pack with a blue spartan and Jaga has been spotted. Now if you guys remember, Jaga was revealed in concept art a couple weeks ago by 343, but here we get a closer look at his design. His figure comes with a red energy sword as we saw in the concept art, and also with the robotic arm. But the most interesting thing about the figure is that his robotic arm has an extra accessory attached to it. Nothing is known about this accessory, there seems to be no name on the packaging. I've seen speculation that people think it's some sort of energy shield similar to what the jackals have. I'm thinking it's more of a blade type of weapon, it looks like it has sharp edges. And in past Halo games we've seen elites have like a wrist blade sort of weapon before. 
This will be interesting because in the Halo Infinite demo, we saw that the Master Chief's grappling hook was attached to his wrist. So maybe this is some type of equipment that we can pick up in game. Now, in more sillier news, Halo Infinite has been spotted on Chips Ahoy and Pringles Chips, similar to the Monster Energy Drink promotion. We are getting free in-game content with the Chips Ahoy and Pringles. I wasn't able to find out what the in-game content is for the Chips Ahoy, as the OP for this post on Reddit had claimed that the code won't work until October 4th. But best guess is, if it's anything like the monster promo, then it might be a nameplate or an emblem or a weapon skin. And finally, this Saturday, October 3rd, there will be a live stream hosted by Jeff Keighley for breast cancer awareness. Unfortunately, there will be no Halo Infinite gameplay reveals as confirmed by Sketch himself. But the official Halo Twitter mentioned that they will be unveiling a very special limited edition item. Which is interesting because the wording from the official Xbox post read, The livestream will offer digital content and limited edition items from Xbox Game Studios titles, Sea of Thieves, Halo, and Grounded as well as Cuphead to help raise funds for patients in need throughout the entire month of October. Initially, I thought they were going to be auctioning off some like rare one-of-a-kind items, but the Halo Twitter does make it sound like it will be an item that everyone can get. Maybe they will unveil the special token that 343 is given out for reaching Spartan rank 152 in Halo 5. Nonetheless, it will be revealed this Saturday, which will be tomorrow. And of course, I will update you guys next week with what that item is. Now finally, on the MCC side of things, we are getting a first look at Season 4 and what to expect with it. Real quick, some things that were mentioned that were most likely not going to be included in Season 4. They make a quick mention of vehicle skins coming to Halo 3 similar to the skins in Halo CE that we saw in Season 1. They also mentioned that they will be potentially bringing new skulls to other Halo titles similar to how we saw Halo 3 get the Acrophobia skull. They said that it's not as simple as copying and pasting the code into a different engine, but the possibility is definitely there. And finally, they teased new ideas for the future of MCC, including campaign customization, animations on nameplates, and potentially bringing maps from Halo Online. If you guys don't know what Halo Online is, it was a free-to-play game that was released in Russia only. A big chunk of this blog included a bunch of information on Halo 4's flight. It appears they're still planning to launch that in October, and they detailed what they want to flight test this time around. So that includes Spartan customization, Forge, theater, challenges, season 4 content, input based matchmaking and crossplay, server region selection, video graphics options, disabled text chat options. Campaign Spartan Ops, and finally, custom social competitive multiplayer games. It's so not everything that I just listed out is a guarantee to be in the flight testing. They did call out the Season 4 rewards, input based matchmaking crossplay, server region selection, and video graphics options as potentially not being included in the flight test. This all, of course, depends on how far they can get within internal QA testing. But everything else mentioned in this list is a for sure thing going to be included in the flight test. And of course, if you want to be included in this flight test, you have to sign up for Halo Insider. The info for signing up on that will be in the description, so check that out if you're interested. But of course, there are some things that we can take a closer look at, starting off with Forge. If I'm being honest, I'm not a Forger myself, so I don't know what many of these things mean, but we got a first look at Trait Zone Editing, and as well as something they call Thorage treatment it basically means that they're going to be bringing items from different multiplayer maps different campaigns and spartan ops of course some items will just be for visual but other items will be new toys with exciting gameplay opportunities not exactly sure what they're hinting at here but if we take a closer look at these screenshots they provided we can see a pelican with an open cockpit does this mean that we are going to be getting drivable 
pelicans in Halo 4, and we can also see a phantom in the background. Are there also going to be drivable phantoms? To my knowledge, these two vehicles have never been drivable before. What kind of update will this be if we didn't get a first look into Season 4 rewards? Now, as mentioned in a previous video, they teased the GRD helmet, a previously unreleased Halo Reach helmet, making its way into Season 4. And it looks like 343 are keeping that promise because this time they gave us a screenshot of the helmet in game. But one thing to note here is that it appears that the GRD helmet is a sub helmet of the AKIS helmet. So along with this new GRD helmet, we also got a first look at the EXO chest piece. So finally rounding out this armor talk, 343 mentions that they are going to be experimenting with new combinations with the robot arm. Maybe elites will be getting it as Jaga, the new elite of Halo Infinite, has a robotic arm. But there are not many game modes where you can play as elites in Halo Reach. So hopefully they include the robot arm across all games that you can be elites in. But from the sounds of things from this blog, it seems like the robotic arm will be a brand new option that you can just mix and match with different armor pieces. I cannot wait to try that out as I would like my Spartan to have a robot arm, but the current chest pieces that that's tied to are not my favorite chess pieces in Halo Reach's selection. So finally, some hints on upcoming weapon skins. They quickly mentioned that they will be adding Halo 4 skins that are missing from the Master Chief collection. And I stumbled upon this thread on our Halo on Reddit where the OP was asking for 343 to bring the shark skin over to the battle rifle and in the comments section a 343 employee replied with a wink face. Now I know this reply is kind of vague but I think it's safe to assume that the shark skin might be coming to other weapons. There are a couple of other things they go over in this blog including information on the custom game browser and the PC file share. It's not too much new information, just know that they are looking at a release date post Halo 4 at this point. But that's all the news for this week. I want to end this video with a reminder of the content that I uploaded this past week. This week I uploaded the next level of my Halo Legendary solo playthrough. In that video I start and end the level 343 Guilty Spark. So check that out if you want to see how bad I am at Halo Combat Evolved. And finally I also uploaded a Halo 5 video. In that one I'm playing ODST Slayer in Halo 5 in honor of the ODST content update last week. So if any of those videos interest you, please check them out. I will greatly appreciate it. But that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed for some more of that Halo goodness. And I will talk to you in the next one.